Hello everybody and welcome to assignment D. We're on the second page, page 58. Um, here we are, the directions say determine whether each conjecture is true or false and give a counterexample for any false conjecture. Okay, so for number one, we're given that points A, B, and C are collinear. That means they're all on a line. So I'm going to draw that situation just so we have a visual of what's going on. Okay, um, A, B, and C are collinear. I'm really not sure where they are. I'll just put them in order for now. There we go. Okay, now the conjecture is if I take the segment AB and add it to BC, I will get AC. And yes, that is true. However, we can make a counterexample. Line, three points. And I could have it so um, C is in the middle. And if that's the case, then the conjecture would be false. So just because I have one small counterexample. One, so one example that's obs somewhat obscure and to small detail the order of the letters is still is false because of the counterexample. Okay, for number two, given angle R and S are supplementary and R and T are supplementary, we're going to conjecture that T and S are supplementary. Well, let's see here. Say angle R. Let's say that is 90 degrees. Okay, so here we have angle R and angle S and approximately those two are supplementary. Um, let's say this is 40 degrees and let's say that's 140 so we know for a fact it's supplementary. Now they go on to say R and T are supplementary so I'll make another angle T. So for that to be supplementary with R I have to have T be 140 as well. Okay and then the conjecture is T and S are congruent and as we can see from what I made here these two angles have to be because they're both supplementary to R. So this is a true conjecture. Okay now let's look at uh, three given angle ABC and DEF they're supplementary. Okay so uh, let's draw that. Uh, uh, angle ABC and uh, angle D, E, F. So here's E, D, and F. Okay, and if we want, uh, you can make put uh, angle measure on them. We got 120, then this would make that 60. Okay, the conjecture is A, B, C, and D, E, F form a linear pair. Well, I made a supplementary pair. I didn't make a linear pair. I could have, but there just wasn't enough information at hand. Okay, so um, yeah, this this could be the case. 120 and 60 again. However, there just isn't enough information. So this example up here, the top where they're separated, disproved the conjecture. So that makes it false. We did find a counterexample. Uh, number four, given uh, line DE and E uh, is perpendicular to EF. Okay. Uh, DE. And EF, perpendicular to each other. So let's make F out here. Okay, so angle D, E, F, that's this angle here, is a right angle. And yes, if they're perpendicular, they do make a right angle. So that is a true conjecture.